Which laptop should you buy in 2021? Now, I personally was doing a lot of research because if you saw my old video, I basically sold my monster PC, 16 cores of power, AMD Ryzen, Threadripper, crazy machine with all the bells and whistles. I got it two and a half years ago, but it's still with 16 cores, you think to yourself like, why would you get rid of that? It was incredible. Now, okay, COVID is a bugger, right? And everybody has to change the way they work. I'm very rarely here, I'm a lot at home and whatever. So I have to get rid of it and I have to buy a laptop. Now laptops for me are like, always gonna be higher priced and half the performance. That's always how I see it with laptops. And I said to myself, like, am I really gonna now invest in a laptop which I know is not gonna give me the same power? And I was just like looking online and researching and researching. And what I found was an incredible laptop, which I thought would be really expensive. It probably is quite expensive, but I managed to found, find it for second hand. Now I never buy things second hand because I just don't. It's just like, why would you want to buy a laptop second hand? And I was like, did a bit of research and I found that there was a guy who was genuinely selling it and I went and met him and I checked it out and make sure there was no scuffs and everything. And I, and I ended up buying it for 1500 pounds. Now this laptop is an i9. 900 kf i think i always get it confused i'll link it in the description but basically what i found with this this specific laptop is that it actually works and performs better than my massive 16 core beast and i'm thinking to myself like how is that even possible like i basically got 16 cores of power and i've halved it with this i9 which is only eight cores how the hell is this performing better now I'm not gonna show you any performances here. I'm just literally gonna verbally tell you that I use Premiere Pro, Premiere Pro a lot. I use a lot of LUTs and loads of color grading and 4K and 6K and I really edit a ton, a ton of footage. And I don't think about tech at all. When I'm editing, I just want it to work. I want to plug and play. And I found with a 16 core that it did, it worked seamlessly on a lot of 1080, 4K. But then the minute you start applying effects and color, it started to lag a little bit. And I was wondering like, ah, really? It's just don't understand. And after doing a bit of research online, I found that Intel have some sort of a, something with Adobe. They have some sort of a relationship where I think they're kind of working together to make the most out of the cores and out of the actual power that's already within their CPUs. Whereas AMD, what they do is, is they just throw a whole bunch of cores at you and say, look, this is what we're selling you. And I'm like, but okay, that's what I did. You know, two and a half years ago, I said, I'm getting a 16 core. I'm never gonna wanna look at a laptop in the next 10 years. Now that was the plan and I was gonna plan if COVID didn't hit, I would have just used that big machine for, for, for as long as I could. But because of COVID, I had to buy this laptop. And what I found interesting, and the reason I'm making this video, is that anyone who's looking for a laptop should consider an Intel over AMD if you're video editing. Now, if you're a gamer, I'm not sure if that's the case. So don't quote me and don't slam me in the comments. It's only for Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, this doesn't have quick sync. Now, I know that a lot of people might be asking, is this CPU quick sync. No, this specific one doesn't. The KF doesn't have quick sync. The K does without the F. Now, what do you need quick sync for and what is it and what's all quick sync and everything? Quick sync is basically there's the CPU and there with the K version, there is like an integrated graphics card within the actual CPU. Don't ask me how the CPU is like this big. I don't know how they manage to, to, to create that even. It's absolutely mind blowing. But that's what the, that CPU is with the K. The KF doesn't have that. It simply has eight pure cores, which you can overclock easier than the K. Um, and you just have to have a dedicated graph. You know, you have to have a, a separate graphics card to support that in, in whatever you, that you do, which I do. I have the 2080 by NVIDIA, which, which works fine, which works great. Um, so that's really this video, what this purpose of the video for, is if you're looking to buy a laptop, check out the Intel i9. Don't settle for less than an i9 because you will experience lag the minute you start throwing and making a whole bunch of crazy edits. You will experience it being slow. 
The i9 is handling it like a beast, better than the 16 core Ryzen Threadripper, which I'm completely blown away by. So quick video, just sharing my knowledge, sharing what I've experienced. If you like this video, again, give it a thumbs up, consider to subscribe, check out my work and my content. And if you like what you see, consider to join the family. One, two, three. Thank you.